With more and more people and businesses relying on telecommunications, it's important for your business to have good marketing strategies for the telecom market if you want to stand out from the digital noise and get noticed in today's busy market. Over 80% of the world's population has a smartphone, which shows how big the market is for marketing related to telecommunications. Companies can't ignore the benefits of telecom-based marketing as long as most of us are tied to our phones. In this piece, we'll talk about the best ways to market telecom services and how telecom recruiting services can help your business succeed. What does the term telecom marketing mean? Telecommunications marketing is one type of marketing that takes advantage of the many ways to talk that new technology has made possible. From landlines and cell phones to texting apps like WhatsApp and Apple's FaceTime, businesses have many ways to create campaigns that bring in new money and keep customers coming back. Some ways to sell telecommunications include using social media to market, email marketing, pay-per-click is a way to market information. Use of search tools for marketing. What are the things that make a marketing strategy on the telecom work? Most of the time, marketing strategies for telecom companies are considered good when they help the company grow. A lot of businesses figure out how well they're doing by setting dates based on their plan. They might be growing sales, getting more people to buy, getting more people to use social media. Any marketing strategy that uses telecom to help reach these goals can be considered a success. Marketing plan for the telecom industry. Use data algorithms to find out more. People often say that data is the oil of the 21st century. No matter if this is true or not, it's clear that good data analytics will help your company learn more about how well its marketing strategies for telecom are working. If you look at how your people respond to your marketing, you can change how you do things to make your customers more interested and grow your business. Companies should try to collect data in a way that is clear and follows any rules about sharing that they have to follow by law. But if companies use it well and quickly, they should be able to learn more about their customers' habits, like how they shop, how loyal they are to brands, how they interact with brands, and much more. If you need help analyzing your data, think about using a useful tool or monitor. For example, a tool like Hootsuite could help you keep your social media accounts up to date and keep track of who is connected with you through these sites. A marketing strategy for the telecom industry is to make high quality material. In the modern world of today, where people have shorter attention spans, brands need more than a standard advertising campaign to get people's attention and get them to connect with them. By making good content, a business can offer more than just information about its products and be seen as an expert in the field. By giving a certain audience the advice and information they need, businesses can do a great job of building the image of their brand and the trust of their customers. It's important to think about all the different ways you can make material. Everything your business makes, like blog posts, guidebooks, newsletters, and movies about social media, must be in line with the company's brand, of high quality, and able to turn leads into sales. Businesses have to take the time and make the effort to get the right content because bad content could hurt them. Video material is one of the most exciting types of content to learn how to use. It can get more people interested and involved than any other method. Improve how customers feel. Telecom's marketing is a great way to change what people think about a business. Customer service and conversation are at the heart of how customers feel about a brand, so doing them well is a great way to make people feel hopeful and trusting. With so many marketing platforms available, businesses should think about using them to connect with customers in the best way. It doesn't matter if it's live chat on a site or answering questions on social networks. We live in a world that is always connected, so every point of contact with a customer is an important part of their path. No matter how you deal with customers, you need to know the core of what makes for a great customer experience. Communication is clear. You care about the customer, and you go above and beyond what they expect. Tell an interesting story. When customers feel an emotional connection to your company, they are more likely to be loyal to its image and buy from you in the future. One of the best ways for companies to do this is to tell a true business story that makes people feel something. This is where your material and ways to talk to people are. 
A recent study found that people of all ages tend to buy or shop from brands that are in line with their morals. Because of this, it is important for companies to show their values in their ads whenever they can. Focus on what you do well and find your USP. Finding a unique selling point, USP, is important for any business that wants to stand out from the competition. There are different kinds of this. It could be something like a new technology, a great price, or great customer service. No matter what it is, it will be the main focus of your business, and you'll be able to tell people more about it through your story and high-quality material. If you're having a hard time figuring out what your USP is, then try to put yourself in your customer's shoes and make choices from their point of view. This will help you get a handle on the idea.